we're gonna hear from someone who's been at the center of this revolution. Right? He's an author, speaker, provocateur, and a thought leader. Jonathan is one of these quite rare speakers whose talks on stage really are only a tiny, tiny fraction of his ability. Here to help us transform how we see the future. The greatest pleasure in introducing to stage Jonathan MacDonald. I've been labelled a futurist, but the truth is I'm actually a nowist. I travel the world and I enable people to understand what's happening and what to do about it. That's what I do. I'm in the business of thought expansion. The business of thought expansion isn't necessarily around motivation. The business of thought expansion is enabling people to unlock the way that they normally think about things. And that's why I'm absolutely honoured to be here today. The change in the next 10 years will feel like the change in the last 50. Today is the slowest pace of change we'll ever experience. The reality is, is that change is the enemy of the competent. Our embracing of change matters. The fastest supercar in the world is 3D printed. It costs $1,500 and it's faster than a Formula One car. Good thing is, is that success isn't size dependent. It's response dependent. The way we think generates our success. In the same way as eating fast food, bad in, bad out. In terms of thinking and destiny, bad in, bad out. Our ability to innovate is directly proportional to our ability to elevate. Harley Davidson aren't in the business of motorcycles, they're in the business of freedom for middle-aged men like me. Wonderbra aren't in the business of lingerie, they're in the business of self-confidence, do you see? So if we look at Airbnb, all they're doing is they're linking surplus to demand in a really accessible way. I played modest hand with launching eBay, the strategy for Amazon's launch. I've been helping L'Oreal. I do a lot of stuff with Elon at the moment. The reality is, these are elevated people. They are not thinking that they're just creating cars, they're doing things that are a lot bigger. You cannot compete with that type of elevation. These smartphones that we have have the same computing power as the whole of NASA in 1969. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. We always overestimate the change in the next 10 years and we underestimate the change in the next two. Nothing I've said is futuristic. I'm a nowist. Why is it that all of the innovations that destroy markets don't come from the people in the markets with the skill sets to do so. Kodak should have created Instagram, Nokia, connecting people, should have created Facebook, right? But we didn't. Have you got the will to succeed? Because, my friends, when the winds of change are blowing, some build a wall and others build a windmill.